Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker. I'm with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I wanted to show you today how to make the single crochet. Okay, I am starting with a row of chains and a slip knot. If you don't know how to do that yet, please go back to my other videos um, that are either on this uh, Bonnie Bay Crochet YouTube channel or if you're watching this from my website, um, it should be just above the two videos above uh, where this one appears. Okay, so to start, we're not going to work in the first chain, but we're going to start by working in the second chain from the hook. So we count that by the first chain, and this is the second chain. We're going to stick the hook in, pull up a loop, yarn over the back, and pull through. It's as simple as that. Let's do the next one. Now notice as I go in that you have a row, it looks like a row of V's up up and down, V, V, V. These are the stitches that we work in. There are many different ways to do this. You, Many people have different ideas. I like to go in just the, the one arm of the V. Let's do this again. We stick in the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over the back. Now notice I turned the nose down and it pulls right through. Let's do the next one. Stick it in, pull up a loop, yarn over. Now let me show you if what happens if I don't pull the nose down. Absolutely nothing. It's really hard to get that through. So if we turn it and turn it down, I always tell my kids, my, um, my students, um, use the humble hook method. The humble hook method means the nose goes down and it slides right through. If you got a proud hook with the nose turned all the way up, you ain't going anywhere. Okay. And I will say that this is the hardest part of crocheting as you're learning. The beginning process is the hardest, but once you get a hold of this, um, it, it really can be quite a joy. Once you get this, the first few hours can be the hardest. Um, just wanted to also make note that I'm holding my yarn in a particular way. Um, there are many ways to do that. I've seen many people successfully hold the yarn differently, but what I'm doing here is my little pinky, is the brake man, like in the four-man bobsled if you ever watched the Olympics. That guy at the back, his only job is to, to pull that brake lever as hard as he can so they don't slam into the wall. Well, we don't have to worry about slamming into a wall when we crochet, but um, this little pinky guy um, helps to create an even tension for my stitches. And if the sooner you develop that, the sooner you'll be able to crochet stitches nice and evenly. Okay, here we go again. Stick it in. Pull up a loop, yarn over, humble hook, nose down, pull through. Okay, and when you're making your first projects, you do want to make sure you go all the way across the row. And one more. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Now let's look at what we have. We have a row of single crochet. I actually have 12 stitches across. The number is really irrelevant, but whatever number you have across the first row, um, you want to try to have that same number across each row. Therefore, you would you know, make a square or a rectangle and your, your stitches will come out even. Um, they won't grow or shrink unnecessarily. Now when we turn, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to turn. Now let me show you, this. the second row is going to be a little bit different. You'll notice that we have a lot of V's up and down, which is like the top or the hat of the single crochet stitch. Okay, when we go through our second row, it's going to be different than the first row of the chain because we're actually going to go under. Can you see that? I put the hook under both stitches, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, stick it in the next. I'm just going under that, under that V. Okay, no lower than that. Pull up a loop, yarn over. Let's do that again. Stick it in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And another, another advantage of learning how to hold your yarn early as possible. And notice my, my tall man and my thumb are right where I'm working all the time. It can keep, just keeps moving to, to support this next stitch that I'm working on. The advantage of doing it this way is that 
you won't get confused and have the yarn in front where, or, in the, or in the wrong place. I've seen beginning students actually wrap the yarn around their project and, and get quite a mess of it. So you want to keep that yarn behind you as you work these stitches. Okay, one more and I'll let you go. Stick it in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through. And there you have the single crochet. Take care. Bye-bye.